Yeah, yo. And if you don't know, you need to know. Uh, 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 uh. Had to do my own sound effects. Media Cartel, yours truly, Ozzy Oz, Mr. Ripper. Hit us up, Media Cartel Mix Show at gmail.com on all interfaces. When I say interfaces, Facebook. Yeah, okay. What? IG. Yeah, okay. All face. Well, you know, I was trying to do a pun on words. But anyway, on the World Wide Web at, you know, uh, Media. Yeah, you see, I got messed up. Media Cartel Mix Show at gmail.com. Uh, IG. Facebook, uh, you, you can like us, love us, subscribe on YouTube. It's all there, Media Cartel. It's where you get your knowledge and you know, but most importantly, fan burst. Hit us up, download it. You can put it on any device, tablets, apples, androids. You can get the information, and you can carry it around, whether you're jogging, whether you're at your office, whether you – I ain't going to say what I was just thinking. But anyway – uh. <clears throat> As we proceed to give you what you need, your boy Rich Kid, mm-hmm. Rich the Kid, what, what, what's the deal with that? Getting getting beat up because he dissed the Meek Mill album? I mean, are, are there is Meek Mill's fans that serious about you know his? And it's not even a comeback; it's it's just a, a, another release of the album. But yet and still, uh, kind of got got a woo shoot, you know. Kind of got a, a, a mm-hmm. rude awakening, you know, from uh, effing with the Meek Mills peoples. So uh, that's that's never good. You know, hey, the man has his opinion about the album. If he dissed and don't like the album, he ain't got to like the album. Yeah, that's true. But uh, I, from, my, from my hearings. Ain't nobody with Nicki Minaj, eh? Right. That's, that's a whole nother story. Mm-hmm. Nicki and her pedophile uh, new boyfriend. Uh is, can I say pedophile? Excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I've mislabeled him. He's a sex offender. Mm-hmm. Now, my question is, why the, if that uh, situation and why is that, if she wants to be dating him, mm-hmm. that's yes, her, be, her, yeah. her business. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, but, you know, apparently they uh, he, he got a ticket uh, driving with suspended license and now he's just putting old boy business all on blast. Come on, man. I mean, they give him safari. Not so damn. I'm about to say safari. They gave they gave you six nine. I mean, not six nine. Six nine a pass on their own kid kid shit. So why right, they right? And and like I say, I I I, I misspoke my words. I don't even think it was uh, pedophile. It was just like you say, sex offender. So yeah, sex offender. Uh, so they, I, I, they did have when he was a little kid. Something. Right. It, yeah. well, I mean, not a, he was when a he minor. Was, yeah. So he was seventeen, and something having the girl yeah. was fifteen or so. yeah, exactly Both a thirteen or so. I don't know. Really. No, nah, I think it, I think you like you say it was like a, a fifteen, seventeen, something like that. Both of them was underage, but they both they just teenagers and fucking basically. Parent probably, oh, you're not gonna be fucking my daughter and type shit like that. I don't know either. I mean, I don't really know the the, the shit. That I, cause I wasn't really into it, but what I'm saying is, I guess they picking and choosing. Oh, yeah. It, but the whole point is, bitch, I, I ran a stop sign. What the fuck? Why, you know, why they gotta. No, I just think, I don't think they had nothing to do. I think niggas was just when they found, when she put out a picture that she was with the nigga, they went over Thanksgiving weekend. Niggas went, just went and, in and did, did back internet de- his yeah, face. internet detectives. <laughs> so probably somebody he used to fuck with, and that you know what I'm saying. They seen him, seen him with Nikki. Was like, oh, you know, you know how it is. He don't fuck with her no more. Oh, that nigga uh, sex offender. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh, you think he with Nikki? Well, she didn't know she she, she ain't he, with nobody. Yeah, but you was fucking him, so right, you, right. you know how this shit goes. Yeah, I think they had asked Fifty on like a TMZ and TMZ. I mean, and Fifty was like. He from the hood, you know what I'm saying? If that's what she want to do, she, it ain't like she don't know the nigga. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's it's not a new cat that just popped up. See, I think that's the shit that, that Boosie left out. I remember the Boosie interview where he said, like, you, you got to move because niggas be in your hometown hating on you from that nigga. He, you know, everywhere right. he go, you hear your music. Uh, right. His lady like the music. The shit that Boosie left out was, shit, what about them hoes that be mad? 
Yeah. <laughs> the the hoes used to fuck sitting there. Exactly. Be mad at where they go. Mad and didn't then yeah. want to blast shit. And yeah, that's funny because they just had a, that shit on the rail show was the same shit when the girl she broke up with the dude. Uh, drip drop. I don't know if you seen that episode. Nah, I ain't seen that episode. The girl, the, the ugly real friend, the ugly chick. Right. She had an ex boyfriend. Um, she broke up with him, and but he do blew up. He became uh, oh, okay. he, he had his, his song. He, he everybody was dancing to his song. He became a, a hot rapper. Right. And um, Rel was playing the rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he put a little dreads and shit on. Right. Him, exactly. And he was playing and had a little crazy stupid song. Drip drop right. sprinkle. He was like making fun of like amigo type right, exactly. shit. Yeah. <laughs> and everybody, everybody just sit on top of everybody. Like it was all like he, she went to the hospital. The doctors was dancing there. White people, everybody, <laughs> old people, everybody. And then he, you know, she do like. The, Clothing design, but she was hating the whole time. Like, fuck right. that song, fuck quit playing that shit. Right. And then he was like, he seen me. He was like, where are you? I got my own clothing line now. And she was like, how the hell you get your own clothes line? I'm trying to do some shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to do some shit. Yeah, it was crazy. Nah, I she see that really episode. was hating. She really started hating then. Yeah. But yeah, that that's that's so true. Like you say, you get it from both both ways. Mm-hmm. And just like just like uh, I forgot who said it. You don't have to you don't have to be labeled a bitch and, and wear a skirt. Yeah. In all all different forms. Exactly. Uh, Mr. Offset, uh, beefing with a Bone Thugs and Harmony member, Lazy Bone. Apparently, uh, you know, he just mad right now. He heartbroken, I y- guess. Yeah, that's, that's. I told you he was gonna try to get her back, didn't I? See, I told you, you didn't believe me. No, I didn't say I didn't believe you. I told you, I I I, I hope that they they recon how do you say reconciliate their differences. Cause you know, I think the whole thing was a little too quick. But needless to say, they're in love. If they they're trying to do the right thing, you know, they they need to, mm-hmm. you know, they need to get they shit right. Stop letting other people, you know, uh, dictate what your relationship is going to be. Yeah, cause that, that, that's all that flower shit was. If he was trying to really apologize and do whatever, he shouldn't. have Tried to do the on stage with all the flowers and shit. I because it, it wasn't gonna come off as sincere. It came off as gimmicky. Yeah, yeah no. as 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 like for the internet, and that's probably what she's seen it like. Yeah, yeah, and no, I I agree. But one, uh, flowers should not only be for when you fuck up. So you should get flowers all the time. Yeah, that but, too. But I'm just but saying. the the fact of him and his status, mm-hmm. he had the you know the big super bouquet of of white flowers mm-hmm. and it was uh you know he's trying to do the kevin hart also mm-hmm. let everybody publicly see that i fucked up and i'm apologizing to my wife mm-hmm. so yeah it was gimmicky nah but see but kevin hart did, so- kevin hart did it differently that was two different situations i'm sorry I he see. did it after they was already now back- he did it before no, no, no. That's what he made it seem like. He did that, but it was they had already talked and decided, okay, we're going to stay in this marriage, blah, blah, blah. They might not have been the best terms in the house, but then he went ahead and did that to make himself look like an ass. You see, he did say sorry, but he made himself look like an ass, you know, so everybody can just, you know, blame me, look like, like an ass. Then right. everybody just went on with the situation. Oh, okay. See what I'm saying? He kind of just came out the out the bucket, just out, 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 out left and just... Right. He didn't have the whole, he didn't have the whole two and two. Right. Now, did you uh, did you see the uh, the video of him publicly? I mean, when he apologized and saying he wanted to be with my daughter for Christmas and it's the season and I miss my wife and I apologize and, and did you see that? I think it's it was IG. See, like I'm saying, you got to be. That's what you need to see privately, not you know what I'm saying. Well, of course, I'm quite. Sh- I would hope that he's he's done all this privately. But the whole point. But is no, I would, it doesn't seem like it. The way he's doing it doesn't seem like it. It seems like he might he's be, trying to do everything. Yeah, publicly, and then he might be saying it some other like she could be just just knowing his ass, you know. Completely. Yeah, because even when he brung, he did that on stage. So that means you just got to wait. Yeah, he because you got to have that private conversation before you take this shit public. Now I I'm think saying. the last and and this, this is too much on on the next person relationship. I got to mm-hmm. always I got to worry about my own relationship. But I think the last thing she did say she would mm-hmm. be letting him see culture for uh, for Christmas. You know, be with them for Christmas. But uh, uh, 
like you say, I think it just like you were saying last week. And that's more, it's a, it's and that's a time, and that's just more for him and his family. I, ain't, I mean, yeah, she it, don't know. It's it's just a uh, it's the waiting game. If she gon' if she don't get over it, she just needs. And, to and then people do that anyway. So people, you little kid, little, when they, I mean, that's not like a little kid. The kid can say, "Hey, what that?" But that she can't say that. It's a little baby, right? So people just kind of use that as a as a little right exactly. as a little to get hook. in. To get in, you know how that shit right goes. exactly. So, but you know, I, I wish them the best. You know, another example of you know, these hoes ain't shit. So you know, you know oh who? What Cardi did? No, I ain't talking about Cardi. I'm talking about the whole that. You oh, know, Bad he, Bunny. Appa- yeah, Bad Bunny been, and other, other yeah. Shit. They apparently mm-hmm. he been tearing his ass for a while, but when I guess he wanted to cut them off, you know, then Bad Bunny wanna. Go all on the internet and tell they motherfucking business. Oh, you gotta understand, it's clout chasing. Everybody's a clout chaser. That's that's why I say these hoes ain't shit. Nobody it ain't just the hoes. It is hoes me. is not just hoes is not just bitches. Doesn't, bitches don't just wear skirts. Yeah, it's, it's clout chasing, man. Everybody want that clout. All right, so they, hey, they do what they gotta do to get this clout. They don't give a fuck. Well, I, I'm quite sure he wasn't trying to get that that type of clout. I know he wasn't. He didn't need it. Right, it was needed. That would be so, that would be negative it, for him, that, but a positive for her. Right, and well, it, she was hoping it would be a positive. Positive, and then she want to come back. I'm I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do it. Yes, she did, bitch. Yeah, you did. Mm. But anyway, that that's you know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Hope the best for their relationship. Mm-hmm. You know, get get a uh, Cardi B and Offset, put them back together, or whatever. I don't know. Uh, ja Rule supports a uh, Ashanti. And her new fashion line. Have you seen any of her fashion? No. Uh-uh. Well, you know she she mo- she models it very well. Yeah, she fine, uh, motherfucking. Now. Yeah, so uh, she has a, a couple of different uh, outfits that I I've seen like in a a couple of photo shots. You know, and once again, I don't know if it's her her modeling or or the outfits. The outfits look nice. They they they're wearable. I, I I would get my my lady. You know, some of the outfits. So. But uh, mm-hmm. of course, uh, you know, Ja Rule is is is. I, I don't want to say cheerleading, but he he's he's very much a big supporter, and you know, and trying to get her her uh, stuff out there. So that's uh, cool. That's good. Yeah, w- which he should. I mean, they've been like that forever. Mm-hmm. You know, they they like brother sister type shit. So, but you know, they you know a lot of people's like, well, damn, why why are you pushing damn near harder than she is? That's his sister, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So she do seem like she do take a sit back role. She don't really. Yeah, she's not a forward aggressor. Mm-mm. Yeah, she kind of like you know let let it happen, you know. But she is bad though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, speaking of fashion, hey, mm-hmm. <laughs> why was people mad at Forever Twenty One because they put a white guy in the um, Black Panther sweater? And on, on the on the on the advertisement, what was that? Shit? I don't know if you seen that. Did you catch that? Uh, I I did see it. I didn't didn't go through the whole article. Uh, was he white? White or was he? No, that bitch was real white. But I mean, it didn't that didn't matter. I mean, he like, was. So why why was it a problem? You damn near albino, but yeah, you yeah white. exactly. That's why I, I mean, was, but it, it really didn't matter. I don't understand what they, what they was mad. It's a but, sweater. I mean, for one, Wakanda is not even real, right? Two, why is you mad? Because they said they should have had a black. I guess they said they should have had a black model. But what? It's dumb so, because this whole Black Panther was made invented by a white man. So I, why? Why? I don't understand what. What? Why is y'all claiming this shit so much? It, this whole thing was invented by a white person. Well, it's. Uh, hmm. I, I to answer your first question, I, I don't know why they're attaching to it so deeply to an, a made up fantasized place but by a white person okay we can we can say by a, a white creator yeah when uh wakanda, it's not, it's not like, wakanda they, is not real but they acting like wakanda is real and they, Wakanda they, has always had they acting, wealth in in but i'm saying they acting like um um uh martin luther king or <laughs> michael max invented this comic book or something yeah, exactly that, that's my whole point they they attached to a fairy tale when Yukonda has diamonds. It has coal. It's mm. it's rich, and you know a lot of the mathematics and science came mm. from Africa. Mm. So they were technological and 
uh, smartly advanced in Africa. Mm -hmm. All he did was make it into a fictitious place, and you know, and y now all of a sudden y'all y'all attached to that. Go back and do your damn African history and get 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 attached to that. But getting back to your your thing, mm -hmm. no, I mean, Forever Twenty One is not making clothes just for black people. They would be stupid to do that. So, mm -hmm. with a, if a white guy wants to wear it and buy it, all power to him. Yeah, I mean, so, there's plenty of black, uh, white people. Um, there's plenty of white people who like black. Exactly. Family. There's there's plenty of black people that's in Africa. You gonna kick them out because they're they're in Africa? No. Mm -hmm. So. Man, Dumb that bull. Okay, I'm sorry. I started getting personal on that one. But so anyway, they apologize. I don't know why, but they apologize. Exactly. Don't know and why. then they and then they uh, and then they took the, they rechanged the pigeon. Now it's just a sweater. A sweater. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, that's the part I read. Like they just took took the picture down and. But that's stupid. I I I would have not apologized. But I guess the politically correct way of doing it you know i wouldn't even what it means ugly sweat anyway but it, yeah yeah, yeah they're gonna be all right now why why did uh kevin hart mm -hmm. uh what, what's the deal with kevin hart and in, in oscars first he was supposed to be do, hosting and then i don't even keep up with that for, fuck shit. Also, i mean not because of kevin hart situation but right. it's because white people awards i don't really care so i mean mm -hmm. what is it not what they doing now you tell me well i mean he he was a uh, he he was uh, supposed to be hosting the Oscars. I know they can't. Did and then he, he wasn't. And yeah, what he, he wasn't, he's hosting yeah. now. Yeah, well, it's, it's still going back and back and forth. But I'm, I'm like, I'm like you. Like, fuck it. You, you you're gonna be all right because he was just. And they don't even pay. So what's the point? I mean, they pay, but it's not no money. Right, and and that's where I was getting ready to go. He was just stated again the second highest paid comedian in the world. Uh, you know, next to, uh, what's your boy? Is it Seinfeld? Mm. Uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry, yeah, I, I say Seinfeld. The, um, so it's like the what the Oscars going to give you, you know. And nah, like, they, they gave what? Uh, what was it? Jimmy Kimmel, I think they gave him. I think he did it for like four or five years. Right. I think they gave him like, I don't remember, you said 1500 or 15000 Yeah, I, something which, which something is, small. This is not even worth it on that time. Right. Exactly. So, but hey, they gave him fifteen thousand. I can just imagine what they're giving him. You know, you definitely get notoriety. But hey, you already got notoriety. So why? I don't think they said notoriety because they don't need no. Neither one right, of them exactly. need no. I mean, they don't, he's on TV every night. I mean, he doesn't need notoriety. <laughs> That's the last thing. He right. doesn't need notoriety or public. Yeah. He's on TV every night. I mean, right. Monday through Friday. Uh, yeah, it's not going to boost up. Nah, he, he's getting the, he's getting his TV. So. Uh, I think they said they're doing it for honor, oh. status in in in, in your resume. peers, and yeah, yeah, your resume. But yeah. I mean, I don't need it. I, I mean, those white people was. I don't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't care. I, I wouldn't go. Even if I'm nominated, I wouldn't go. Or with the ass and hoes, I'm like, nah, that's not Oscars my shit. Is for the movies, right? Yeah. So maybe he's. But I'm just saying, it's it's still white people shit. Just like Grammys, I don't need white people telling me how good my shit is. Right, but I'm going. Maybe he was playing. Maybe he was playing the politic role. But I'm just saying, I don't. Know, I'm, I'm saying about all black people. I don't see why they go, go these go to him and get all into it when it's not really for us. It's not by us or for us. So. No, it's definitely not fubu. But everybody has a, a a reason, and you know, it's still politics in Hollywood. So maybe there was a. A thought pattern behind it. But. Matter of fact, I don't think Drake even go to any. He been to any of the Grammys because he won. He won, but he don't go. <laughs> he don't go to any of them. Uh, 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 oh, well, okay. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, same point. It's like why we don't need them to tell you. Right, exactly. I mean, I and I definitely agree. That's what I'm saying. That's just, what's, what's the point? That's just the. Who are you? Uh, who, 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 yeah, who are you to tell you don't, me? Yeah, you don't yeah. even listen to our shit. So, right, exactly. <laughs> like, why? <laughs> yeah, why do I need that? Uh, your man, uh, Joel Santana. Mm -hmm. He's been sentenced to 27 months in federal prison for that weapons charge that he called in Newark, New Jersey. Air yeah, prison. I'm behind on Love and Hip Hop. I kind of missed it. I'm yeah. behind, but yeah, I know he was... He was he was um, sweating yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Which, which you know, I'm yeah. I, I think they they should be a little lenient at the same token. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. He said he was high, so <laughs> that's what he said on the sh on the, on, the, on the show. I've almost took it my my side arm on with me, but mm. luckily, what what happened is I was able to get back out of line, long line. 
took me a long time to get back. But oh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, and get the fuck off, mm-hmm. get the fuck out the airport. Mm-hmm. And you know, luckily, like I say, I had a a car or a place that I could put it back to detain it. Mm-hmm. But uh, so I can see if you carry it often on you, and you just doing your everyday routine. Mm-hmm. It may be it may slip your mind. I don't think that's worth twenty seven months in a federal prison. Nah, not not with all. It the, wasn't pulled out. It was in his carry on. Oh oh no no no. He's a he's a felon. That's oh why. yeah yeah. That's, oh shit yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. I, yeah that, that that's makes, difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah that makes a big difference. Uh, but 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 my my thing is this. he said he was high. Probably. He said he was. He said he was addicted to pills because uh, he had some dental work and he got that. That, right. I mean, that that's just the love of hip hop explanation. I don't know. Right, right. That's his thing. That, that that was a good. Then he started blaming on rap music. What? I don't die. Yeah, he said because I, I, I was I was sticking with the the dental thing and trying to. Uh, he said because lean they made lean popular, so he's that. that I don't know, he started blaming a lot of stuff on rap. That was in his therapy sessions. And, uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah, this is, not, that definitely sounds like a, a loving hip hop uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and a detour to uh, try and you know throw throw the stupidity off of him. But yeah. like, but that but that's what shit. But uh, what you I was gonna change. Nah, that's 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 basically. Um, speaking of airplanes, <laughs> Delta, I, they're getting fed up. About what? Uh, these fucking animals. Uh, well, animal crazy animal lovers. Oh, damn. Put it that way. Uh, they are now cutting back. Uh, I guess what Delta is about the biggest airline, right? On the most popular. Uh, like second or third for uh, the U.S. Yeah, I know for the U.S. Yes, for the right. U.S. Yeah, cause I know they most whatever the changes they make, most of the other airlines follow. They were saying, mm-hmm. um, support animals will no longer be allowed on long flights. Okay. Um, they have to be, you know, they already cut down on what type of can be. Right, exactly. But if the flight is more than eight hours, you can't have a support animal. Okay, well. Uh, and if they're younger than four months, not allowed. Yeah, they shouldn't be younger than four months. Bitch shouldn't be moving around anyway. But I'm just, that's just the regulations. They're cutting down. They, they're getting well, tired. fuck of that. What about? Ones that's older than four months, it's not a goddamn service dog. That's that's the they're, they're getting there. They just slowly narrowly because you, you can see over the month they keep regulating, regulating, they're getting it. They slowly getting it. They instead of putting out a whole bam, they just lower. Yeah, yeah they lower slowly their, tightening the grip tightening on that shit. It. Cause, and it, and it's crazy because people is actually people who actually need to support animal, but we got right f- fucking animal over over crazy animal lovers doing right. stupid shit. They. Bring my support kangaroo. Yeah, squirrel and shit and got them rats and raccoons. Or even a dog. Just bring the, their favorite dog has nothing to do with support. Not right. trained to do what a support dog does, and then they bring that in this right tearing up the cabin and shit and everywhere just because yeah, exactly. they want they they don't want pissing they, on the couch and shit because they don't want to miss their dog. They would have sit with poopy in their lap or some oh, shit. Damn. No, not that. Please, not the poopy in the lap. <laughs> you know, it's motherfuckers like that who fuck it up for everybody. Right, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, you smell something? No, I don't smell anything. No one is shit red on your damn dog. Yeah, and it's kind of like the the the, the greyhound shit <laughs> in Florida. Now it's all fucked up. What's that? The, the 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 greyhound. You know they had voted for the to uh, stop greyhound racing in Florida. Yeah, I, I heard. Oh, I thought you were talking about the bus line when you. No, 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 no. The, the great, the the, the the ground racing. It's and now it's all fucked up. Now you got like all these animal, the all the animal shelter people or whatever, just greyhound rescue people in Florida. Now they're coming out saying, "Oh, we we fucked up. We shouldn't have let the law pass." Mm. What happened was they had an out of town group come in, right? And they went did all these commercials and all this. Uh, voting against the the greyhounds, and I think the people that do the run the rescue shelters and the greyhound was like they went ahead and agreed with the people, even though they because that's what they're saying. This is what they're saying. I don't mind. Uh-huh. They some some of the stuff they were making up was was just over li- okay. lies and right. over the top. A lot of stuff didn't happen about the treatment of the animals and right. and. What happened? A lot of people just open didn't know what they was voting for, so they just voted no because they thought that they believed what they was. Right, exactly. they were pushing their agenda, Gender, so right. so that's what they believe. Well, them people promised them to give that it was going to take care of the greyhounds when they, you know, in a couple of years when they stopped the racing and they was going to get money. 
That didn't happen. The yeah. people don't haul the ass. Yeah. They don't even, they don't, they don't, the phone is disconnected. They can't even find them people. All these animals thought they was going to get help, money. Now they're not getting nothing. Now they, see, they was just being greedy. They mm-hmm. wanted the money. Now they, now they don't want the shit. Now they don't want the race to stop. Right, exactly. And, they, and the poor greyhounds that's out of work and old and, like, say, greyhounds. Well, see, that's the thing. Most of them, this the thing because now they got all these people going to be out of jobs. So a lot of people mad at them because you got thousands and thousands of people who are going to be out of jobs in the next two years. So they're right. mad at the animal people, which they don't want them to be mad at. And then the second thing is, which they didn't really, most people voters didn't realize, most of these greyhounds are not going to be put up for adoption because the tracks don't own most of these greyhounds. Most of these are still going to revert back to the kindle. Yeah, and being yeah. that these people are going to be put out of jobs, what's right. going to happen is they're probably going to send them to the under market right. and then they're all going to get moved through Mexico and then probably end up getting through meat markets and getting sold through right, exactly. the supplement their income. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's, it's a lot of bullshit that, oh, they, yeah, didn't, that, <laughs> that they didn't think think long on. Yeah, well, they, they they seen the money. That's what they the people in Florida, that stay in, that's what they were thinking about, right. the money. And now... Some people gone and it's like, what the fuck? Gone in the wind. Yeah, they they was seeing. Yeah. So was it, it? It was finalized that they are. Yeah, but now they pushing the. I don't know what they're trying to get another boat. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, these are the animal people, not the the race race track people, but right. the animal because they don't. I mean, it's got two years before because they just saying they're not gonna have. I don't know whatever. Yeah, they, that's why I was gonna say. I, I know it's not an immediate effect. It's gonna mm-mm. be a. a, a couple of years before so, so I don't yeah, know. they're trying to appeal it so yeah. they can keep it around mm. i mean but that's what everybody do when they push their agenda they over over push something right exactly uh nah that's not a good segue but i'm gonna do it anyway speaking of pushing mm-hmm. uh remy Mar just had her child mm. uh congratulations to a couple of weeks now yeah a, month, a couple of weeks well no nah, it's about no, it's, it's not that long ago. A few, few. I want to say a few days or something. But needless to say, uh, she had to be rehospitalized for uh, for surgery that was complications after her delivery of her her child. She was mm-hmm. having internal bleeding and some other stuff, so it had to take her back to the hospital. So hopefully, uh, you know they get it resolved it's nothing that's detrimental and life threatening and serious but uh big ups and prayers to you know to her and the baby Remy. And the, you know and, and the whole family you know because she was having complication having another child and they mm. you know they did all the you know whatever you know extra stuff to get her pregnant so hopefully it, it pans out good on that one true um, I don't even know why this is even a story. Mm-hmm. Wendy Williams fractures her uh, shoulder. Have you seen Wendy Williams lately? Mm, she looked like a, a walking nah, nah, skeleton not, with breasts. Not, not that I seen that when she fell and shit. Yeah, yeah. So, that little faint thing was weird. That's the last time I think I really. Yeah, but even the yeah, she looks like a walking skeleton with breast implants. So. Oh she, yeah, now she's real bad about it. I mean, yeah, so, um, so so. But my whole point is. It's probably no. Nah, that's not a good joke. I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Well, I thought it, so I might as well say she probably. No, I tell you about. I did see it because I w- it was on YouTube. I seen something. She was talking about something. She was sitting down in the chair though. She was talking about something. Something that was, was hot last week, and I looked at it. And it was funny. Hmm. It was it was funny. What she was saying was funny. What, well, yeah, what I mean, she, was she's. She, what was she talking? It was talking about something. <laughs> something was hot. What was hot last week? Hell, I don't know, but it, I did look at that. It was funny. Hmm. Uh, not quite sure. Meanwhile, mm. Takashi Six Nine's bodyguard is getting three years of probation for all the bull ish that they <laughs> they're going through. And at the same time, Bujabantan is a you know uh you know he he's been locked up for damn like what nine years. Mm, yeah, he out. So, yeah, he's out. Mm. You know, and he's already on the grind. Planning the Long Walk to Freedom tour, so that's been a long, long time coming. But yeah, so you know, some of us are going in, some of us are coming out. Mm-hmm. So big ups to Booja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you did you get into Booja? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I ain't know how you know. I'm waiting to let Vice Cartel out. Yeah. 
I think he, ooh, I, I think Vibe's going to, they going to sit him for a minute. I don't know. They they got a weird. What's, what's they got a weird uh, justice system. So. Right. Yeah. Exactly. That's a, that's a whole other thing. Uh, I don't see where my notes are. Because he kept getting out and getting in and going on pills. Yeah. No, for the and same they, thing. He kept appealing it, but then it was getting. getting out, yeah. It was weird. Mm-hmm. I don't know how they. they yeah, they just. just I right. don't know where my note is, but something else just made me remember. I think. Uh, this is a whole different subject. Mm. Moving on. Uh, what's her name? Kelly Jenner, the little young mm-hmm. chick. Yeah. And Jay Z. Oh yeah, she like the tied for celebrity, yeah. richest celebrities. Wow. Yeah, Charles Scott did did made a right move, huh? Yeah, he, he, he better <laughs> he, not fuck that one. Up, he though. said Tiger fucked up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not really, cause now his music got better. Yeah, so that, that's why I say he. he he, he, that's that's a keeper. Mm-hmm. Now, see if you're gonna convert over to a white chick. That's 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 the way to go. I, I, that's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, then you're getting a broke white chick. Ooh, well, that that's definitely never advise advisable. <laughs> Please don't do that to yourself. Um, uh, club. And since we talking about money, um, uh, Club Eleven in Miami, they had a Jordan retro. Sneaker launch. Uh-huh. Uh huh. It didn't happen. They ended up getting closed down. The police had to close it down. Motherfuckers started riding in the line. Big what? fight. Yeah, yeah. It, it turned. It went crazy. Damn it, man. How did that feel? I don't know. And they just had another one I seen. I didn't really read it. Somewhere. I think this one was in South Carolina, I think. Another uh, Jordan. And, and I think somebody got, a couple people got shot or something. Damn. That ain't cool. Mm. Not, not over the chain. Well, the one in Miami, they closed it down before it even happened. But I think the one in South Carolina, they did open it. So I guess they're doing these little special events now for special right. versions. And Ver- yeah. they open up in different places. Just doing but pop-up shops. Yeah, but now it's causing it. Yeah, causing. Yeah. Well, it, actually, if you think about it, they've always caused riots and, you know, uh, motherfuckers be going at it <laughs> and shit for, uh, you know, for the first <laughs> pair of Jordans and shit and yeah. So uh, not me. I mean, but no, yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, nah. Shit, I ain't. Please, little Isaac just sent me a thing talking about uh, I, he wanted a, a pair of Jordans. I'm like, how much do you think? What? Yeah, yeah, right. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. You do know you got a job, son. Yeah, he's like you. Yeah. Don't, I don't even want to. Do yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we gonna share? You know, you know. God damn. Oh uh, yeah, that that's 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 kind of crazy. Pay that much for a shoe? I don't even care if I won the lottery. I wouldn't pay that much for a shoe. It just I don't I, I no. Mm-mm. It just seemed like you burning away, throwing away money. Um, Mariah Carey, you know she's had a lot of uh, last couple of years. I think she's had a lot of problems with this New Year's Eve thing, singing at you know the ball drop singing. Right. I think what was it one year she was lip syncing. Right. I think that was a year before last. I think, yeah, about a few years. Was it lip syncing or forgot the words or something? It was, One time she was lip syncing. The other time she was just all okay. No, no, last year she just had a bad attitude. She was being, what they call it? Uh, a diva? Yeah, it was some, something added on top of diva. I forgot what they call it. <laughs> I forgot what a it is. Diva bitch? Diva something. But it, yeah, okay. she was, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she was, she was, really, yeah, she had a real crazy attitude. Well, I don't know if it's good news or bad news, well, but she will not be there this year. Oh, really? She will be miles away. She'll be in a Barbados, I think. Oh, okay. Oh, it was bring me tea. It was something like she was like, bring me tea, bring me tea. Oh, goodness. Something about bring me tea. Uh, well, you know. She's supposed to be teach, seen. As, I, I don't know, but she was on stage. <laughs> then he went in the white yeah, room. Yeah, right. But, uh. She's she's gonna be performing in Barbados. She's getting paid to the the scene there. Mm, uh, okay, well. So yeah, so she is getting money, but she just won't be on. She won't be getting yeah. And she won't be doing. So I guess somebody else will have to take take that role. I guess they'll probably get who Rita Orr. Who Rita Orr? Okay. They like using her a lot. Right. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Who? She just. I mean, they've been. She's kind of like been like the. The go to person. Step behind. Like she get the the Mariah Carey's always been the one to do the that that big one and right. they always get her to do the 
the step behind like, just, like she did the Christmas. Like they wouldn't get Mariah Carey because they had to stay home for New Year's Eve, so they got Rita Ora to do the, do the Christmas on the parade. Christmas right. Oh, okay. Like the Macy's. Yeah, yeah, the big, yeah, the one in New York, yeah. Okay. So that's what I was saying. So she might, they might bring Rita Ora might oh, step so up. Right. Is she that might. That may be a level up for her. True that. So uh, level up. Um, and of course, she, she, Mariah Carey's got the Christmas album, which she always she's always selling. Mm, right. On ro- rotate every Christmas season. I think she's doing a new one. Oh, she didn't. She this is a new one this year. Oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, won't be getting that one. But uh, uh, loving hip hop, you're a loving hip hop person. Yep. Uh, are you familiar with what's her name? Uh, Treasure Print. Uh, uh, n- uh nah, I-, I heard something about it. I think she anyway, been got said, cut off. Oh, uh, okay. Well, she been not on anymore. Well, that's but. probably why she got cut off. She mm-hmm. was uh, arrested for a DUI. Yeah, drunk or something. Yeah, drunker than a mom, <laughs> which landed her in the hospital. I went back to try to see if I remember. I think she had like a little small role or something. I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't seem to recall it. Either. But it's been a, it's been a minute since she's been on them. Right. Oh, okay. Well, you know they 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 starting to attach their claim to fame to love and hip hop. Oh, it's, well, I mean, not that. It's just if you do if you've been on. It's the last thing you do is like well, if you was on Jerry Springer. I mean, not Jerry Springer, but uh, if you was on Jerry, if you was Jerry. on. Uh, Hosting the Ellen Show or something, you ain't did it in two years. They're gonna be like the- ex host of the Ellen Show. Yeah, yeah. It, okay, matter of fact, only person who ever been escaped this curse is Meek Mill. Cause think about it, everybody that's dated Nicki Minaj, even though they've done something or been on something, uh-huh. when they do something wrong or something, it's always Nicki's ex. Nikki's right. ex Safari, Nikki's ex uh blah blah blah. <laughs> but right. not they don't say that about Meat Meal. They just say now they, they right. did at first, but now they just say Meat Meal. Yes. Why did he do it? He didn't do nothing extraordinary. Well, I, just... I think because he was meek before they got into the relationship. Yeah, but Safari came up at the same time. And it's been other was nobody though. But it was other people too that 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 Yeah, I, I get where you're going, but I think Meek had his own Definitely had his own fan base, notoriety. But he was like that before a while, though. I thought he broke up. It was Nikki's ex, me, yeah, me, yeah, me. but now they don't say it now. They don't say it now because Nikki is irrelevant now. She's not. No, but they say about everybody else though that she dated. Yeah, because they're attaching. Who the fuck is this nigga? Yeah, but oh, Safari Nikki. got his own fan base too now. I mean, yeah, but Safari was always not music, but what I'm saying, he's got. Right, his... But he was he still played the background, so you either knew about Safari because he was, uh, you know. What I'm saying, they came up together. Is what I'm saying. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I know they came up together, but he didn't come up. Yeah, <laughs> so. I mean, yeah, they did because they, he was well known. I mean, just as you know, Nicky, because you always seen him. And people was like, who's that? And then they was like, that's her boyfriend. You always seen him. Because when yeah, they were together was always, for years. Yeah, and that was always. And he would just be by himself. Like, oh, so, so, there's Safari. It's Nikki's boyfriend. boyfriend. That's what I'm saying. They, they came up together. And that's hinting towards the point that I was saying. They came up, but he was always Nikki's boyfriend. That's it what I'm was saying. Always Brandy's, but what I'm saying, they've Brandy's been broke up. Buds. But I'm saying they've been broke up for years now. And, and he has came into his own popularity, his he, own fan base. But I'm just saying, when something happens, they still say Nikki's ex boyfriend Safari. Right. Now they had to put names because she had quite right. a few. But <laughs> but what I'm saying, and they even did but that. Worn out. And yeah, and saying. they even did that with with, with Meek Mill. But now they don't do. They're not doing it now. Right. Just like they still go, Brandy's little brother Ray J. I don't see that no more. Yeah. They used to, but I don't see that no more. Right. Nah, they don't see that no more. So, all that to say. Uh, they, 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 uh, Cause he's, more, yeah, he's probably more popular than Brandy now. Yeah, very much so. But I'm just saying, it was always that stigma that was on his name. Yeah, because he was younger and he yeah. wasn't the first out the gate. And right. So, even though she's she's doing more acting than him now, she's on a TV show, but he's more. She's talk- on what stars or something. She's on a, she's on a couple TV shows actually. She's okay. on Star. She's on something else too. Yeah, I recently saw her somewhere, and I was like, oh damn, I didn't. You know, and I think she's that. probably doing them little Hallmark movies, little, got a little role. Right, right, right. Speaking of that, they just did, Hallmark dropped like 30-some movies this year. I what? mean, they said them things making money. Damn. And they have Christmas movies. 
Okay. Well, I mean, you know, they go through people, Vilka Fox, Brandy, you know, different right. people like that. Hmm. Uh, don't know about that one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good. Good luck. I mean, whole Walmart, Walmart caters to, like you say, everybody's emotion and different. So you know, their fan, their fan base is not just mm. sorrow. You know, like you say, they have joy, sorrow. Da, 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 so. But damn, driving thirty and when you got damn. Yeah, they driving thirty. This, this they, they trying to come at Netflix, huh? They hey, well, they are. They're making any money for Christmas. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> God damn it, we're getting in this. We're getting in here, mama. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you have any funnies before we get out of here? Um. Uh, that's not thing. Oh, uh, you remember the Mendez brothers? It's not really funny, but oh, you remember? Goodness, yeah. Some I don't know why, but it just came out. Uh, what is it? Last week or the week before last? Uh huh. Somebody had a uh, 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 what was it? Mate, ja- uh, Mike Jackson or something? It was some guy I never heard of NBA card, and it wasn't a regular tops. It was a a different brand. Uh huh. And the he had the card. I don't know if he noticed or a friend noticed, and. He they was a it was a course it was a live shot so he was playing right. the guy was playing and they took the shot while he was playing basketball and then you had like fans, fans in, the back. in the background I don't know if you heard about this yet no I haven't so somebody all these years nobody had noticed and then I guess because like I say it's not a it's not wasn't a top of the brand it's not one top so you know right. it's just a regular generic and somebody looked and said hey man I guess a friend told him look that's the Mendez brothers. Ooh. And they was sitting in the and and, and it's and it was and the, so they went and find out when the you know when the people researched when they find out when the, when the when the shot was taken and when the game was right. and it was like right after they had killed their parents oh, and it was like when they went you know because they killed their parents they went on the right. shopping yeah, spree, spree yeah. so that's when they went and bought the courtside seats yeah seat. I was like oh wow. wow that's crazy yeah 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 that is crazy though yeah yeah that's that's crazy <laughs> yeah that's that's crazy. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if it's gonna be. I don't know if that's gonna make the card worth a lot of money, but I, I don't know. But it is. And you say that was a Jordan card? No, some, it was a, uh, it, no, not not a popular guy. Oh, not a popular. Okay, uh, yeah, but it wasn't a popular happened. person, and it wasn't a popular brand. Of, of, they just happened to, yeah. yeah. It was it was Ozzy going driving down court, you know. And uh, I think it was a Mate Jackson or Meek. Ja- uh, Mike, and it was Mate? not Michael Jackson. It was Mate. This was something started with M, oh, okay. but it was a Jackson. His last name, right? Wow, there's a lot of Jacksons around here. Okay, mm. so, anyway, anyway, uh, but that I mean that's crazy. And uh, far as funny shit, oh, Sesame Street has its first homeless Muppet called Lily the Muffet. Lily the Muffet, and she's homeless. They're adding that to Sesame Street. Okay, she's a female. She's got dreads, and she's homeless. Okay. I, I can see the dot in it, kind of, kind of in that one. Uh-huh. I don't see it. I don't understand. I mean, it. because I mean, Sesame Street mm-hmm. is supposed to be a small section of the mm. entire world. So diversity. Yeah. So but why we need a homeless person? Because homely homelessness is rampantly growing. Mm. I, I know that, but so, I'm not disagreeing with that. My thing is, what the fuck is Oscar the Grouch? I thought he was the homeless person. No, Oscar's just the uh, the uh, a crazy person. He's the Grouch. He's the he lives in a trash can. I mean, that's homeless. <laughs> okay. So, so point so, taken. So that's what I'm. Saying. I forgot about old Oscar. I just, just thought he was just the mean guy. I mean, guy. she don't even have that. I mean, she really doing bad. <laughs> she didn't even got the trash can. I mean. <laughs> She's a jump in the trash. <laughs> so, I mean, what? maybe he's maybe she's Oscar's. New partner. I don't know. She didn't even have a trash can. Oscar has a trash. Yeah. So she really shit. She's she homeless for real. Nah, he's homeless. I mean, but he lives well, in the trash. trash can. I mean, could she just get in the trash can? I mean, I thought he was like hey. the representative of the homeless population. I mean, to be personal, I thought, you, I, that's what I always thought when a little kid. Right. Because that when you look at like, I right, don't do school. You can be homeless like Oscar the Grouch. Be like Oscar. Right. Well, I, I maybe Oscar was a. The representation of the Vietnam vets. What, going crazy? You know, crazy, grouchy, and just, you know, uh, let me stop before I bury myself. I don't know. I, I, okay, well, I know in my hood, I got, it's a couple dudes, couple dudes. They're not, I won't say homeless, 
Right. Because they got spots. They got apartments, or, 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 but they don't never go in. They just live outside. Okay. Because they, in their mind, they can't be inside, I guess. Right, they exactly. That's I mean, that's not funny, but I'm just saying maybe, right. that's, what maybe Oscar, that's what Oscar... I don't know. Yeah, let's let's leave it alone. Uh, MediaCartel at gmail.com. MediaCartelMixShow at gmail.com. Uh, IG, of course. Facebook. YouTube. MediaCartel. Hit us up on all medias. Fan Burst. Get on there. Download it. Like it. Love it. And become a participant. All these things and many, many more are upcoming. And the things that you don't know, you need to tune in to know. And if you didn't know, you need to tell a friend so that they know. And all y'all know, because I am no, don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But anyway, until next time, Ozzy Oz, your main man, Mr. Ripper, we out.